Hi everyone, Reverend Dominic here again. It is uh, uh, Thursday. It's Thursday, May 14th. And yesterday I did a video posting uh, about uh, the daily lectionary and I took a, a, a psalm uh, text from the daily lectionary and unpacked that a little bit, uh, reading it from the uh, New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. And, and it occurred to me after doing that, that it might be helpful to say a little bit more about that. That is, that there's a whole lot of different translations of uh, the Bible out there in English. Well, in any other language too, I suppose. But in fact, in fact, are you ready for this? There are 450, 450 different translations of the Bible in English. 450, that's incredible. That's incredible. Now, I, tra I say translations because the Bible, of course, was not written in English. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew. The New Testament was written in Greek. And whenever you make a translation from one language into another language, uh, whatever those two languages are, you're making an interpretation. You're making um, an approximation of the original language um, or the intent of the words. Let me give you an example. I have a couple of different translations here of uh, the, the opening of John's Gospel um, that I want to share with you just because so you can see sort of the differences in, in how they uh, translated from the Greek. This is the, the, the uh, KJV, the uh, King James Version of the Bible. It reads like this. A word this probably, hopefully, is a familiar text to you. That's why I chose it. Uh, <clears throat> in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That's King James. There's a Phillips translation of the Bible that reads like this. In the beginning, God expressed himself. The personal, that personal expression, that word, was with God and was God. And he existed with God from the beginning. All creation took place through him and none took place without him. In him appeared life and this life was the light of mankind. The light still shines in the darkness, and the dark, and the darkness has never put it out. The New English Bible says it like this. When all things began, the Word already was. The Word dwelt with God, and, was God, and, and what God was, the Word was. The Word, then was with God in the beginning, and through him all things came to be. No single thing was created without him. All that came to be was alive with his life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the dark, and the darkness has never quenched it. And the last one I wanted to share with you uh, which is probably going to be familiar, most familiar to you, is the, is the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, which we use here at our church. And it goes like this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. I read that one a little more more easily because I'm most familiar with that uh, that translation. And uh, and like I say, the, the New Revised Standard Version is the one that we use in our church and really in most United Church of Christ churches, uh, that's, the, that's the translation that we use. The New Revised Standard Version is an updated, uh, uh, an update from the Revised Standard Version, which is of course still out there. The Revised Standard Version of the Bible uh, was actually an update itself of the American Standard uh, Version of the Bible. So one of those, a couple of those other 450 translations of the Bible out there. 
The new Revised Standard Version that we use is a product of the National Council of Churches. It, was, it came out in 1989. 1989. So it's a while ago, of course, that it came out. And there is actually, you may not know this, but there's actually work underway to update the NRSV, the New Revised Standard Version. In 2017, uh, it was announced that a new group of scholars, 50 scholars, have begun work on what will be called the NRSV E, or NRSV UE, NRSV UE, which is the New Revised Standard Version Updated Edition, which I think is quite a mouthful. That's a working title, and I kind of hope they take a second look at that because it's a lot in one for a title of a Bible. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is that there is no right version of the Bible in English. There's no correct, quote unquote, correct version. Uh, uh, a translation of the Bible in English or any other language other than Hebrew and Greek. There is only the version that works for you. So, if you're bored during this stay-at-home time during the pandemic, take some time to explore some different translations. It can be it can be fun. It can be a lot of uh, uh, an enriching experience um, as you learn more about where the Bible came from and uh, how we use it uh, today. So I commend that, that to you. It's, it can be an interesting thing to do. Biblical scholarship uh, can take place on, on all kinds of levels. Uh, certainly uh, anybody staying at home, we have access through the internet or uh, to, to these different translations. And uh, it can be a, an enriching experience to find out more about them. So uh, that's all for the moment. Uh, thought I'd whet your appetite with that. There's a lot more that can be said about that, but that's enough for now. Uh, and I wish you all the best and we'll catch up next time.